My name is Sean Robinson, and I'm the headmaster here at St John's. You join us in our centenary year, where we are celebrating 100 years since the foundation of the school in a church in Pinner. We have come a very long way since those early days, and I'm extremely proud, not only of what we as a school have achieved, but of all the St John's boys and their achievements. We believe that each child is a unique individual. Our goal is to help them to find their passions and go on to live fulfilled, rich and interesting lives. We foster a positive academic environment where every boy aspires to do well. Each pupil is presented with the widest range of opportunities and we encourage them to love learning, to be determined, to behave well and to do their best at whatever they do. Although you can't physically be on site, I want to give you a flavour of life at St John's. The coronavirus arrangements and the need to keep boys and staff safe means things are looking a bit different at the moment, but it's precautions like these that have allowed us to remain open during this entire time. Our tour starts in the pre-prep and our head boy and two deputy head boys are there to meet you. Thank you Mr Robinson, my name is Alexander and together with Rodrigo and Vish we'll be showing you around the school today. Our St John's journey began in the free prep so that's where our tour starts. We don't normally see the boys at this part of the school as the nursery, reception and years one and two use this safe purpose built area throughout their time. Let's go inside and meet Miss Morgan who is head of the lower school. Thank you boys and welcome to the pre prep. As the head of lower school, I have the privilege of guiding learning from the very beginnings of school life. For me, this is the most magical time when little boys demonstrate a curiosity for the world around them and develop a love of learning. The pre-prep comprises of nursery to year two. It is a vibrant, inclusive and very happy place to learn. Beginning in the nursery, our three dedicated nursery nurses embrace the boys' interests and bring out the best in them. We ensure that the start of a child's education is a stimulating and fulfilling experience. Their classroom is linked directly to a wonderful outdoor area with opportunities to explore through play alongside teacher-led activities. As the boys transition to reception and key stage one, small classes, each with a teacher and teaching assistant, ensure a high level of care and attention is given to every boy. Our curriculum provides a breadth and depth of learning through both formal and practical styles of teaching. All our classrooms have interactive whiteboards, iPads and computers, and digital learning is integrated into the school day. There is a core focus on reading, writing and arithmetic, but we balance this with creative arts and outdoor learning. At St John's we are fortunate with our facilities and we make the most of our beautiful grounds with regular visits to the forest and nature trail. Specialist teachers enhance the pupils' learning in music, games, PE, French and swimming. Thank you, Miss Morgan. At the end of year two, boys are ready to make, up, make the move up to the juniors, so that's where we're going next. It's a short walk to another dedicated set of classrooms, and Vish is waiting there to meet us. The junior department is a key part of St John's. There are four classes where the boys are introduced to a range of new activities such as being part of a house and having games lessons that concentrate on specific sports such as rugby, hockey and cricket. Each class has a class teacher supported by two teaching assistants. They build on the skills the boys have learned in the pre-prep with fun books that add to their vocabulary, weekly spelling tests and traditional times tables which are the foundation for mental arithmetic. It isn't all work though. The boys have many clubs such as Lego Club, Gardening Club and DT Club. My favourite club when I was in the juniors was Drama Club because I really enjoyed being the mayor in the play The Pied Piper. We asked some boys from Year 3 and Year 4 what they liked most about the juniors. My favourite sport at school is rugby. In Year 4 we have started playing contact rugby. I hope we will soon be able to play against other schools again. I was nervous coming into the juniors but the teachers are really nice and give us lots of help. In the juniors, we are in houses, Churchill, Lawrence, Lincoln and Oates. We earn house points towards our house and we wear our tie with pride as they show the house colour. I'm in Lawrence and this is Thomas Lawrence. In the juniors, 
we are able to use laptops and iPads. We also learn to use lots of different equipment in the DT department. After two years in the juniors, boys are ready to make the move up to Year 5. It's a very exciting time as a St John's boy. We have specialist teachers for all subjects, like you would in senior schools. Some boys move on at Year 6, but most of us will enjoy four years here where we gain knowledge and skills, achieve at a really high level and prepare for our senior schools. It is at this point where we are able to make the most of what St John's offers, with well-equipped science laboratories, a bank of musical instruments and practice rooms, a newly fitted DT studio, a fantastic senior library, interactive smart boards in every classroom and access to iPads and computers. This is one of our fully equipped science laboratories. We study a variety of things, including chemical reactions, electricity, and how living organisms function. Learning is mainly through regular experiments and our fun, practical lessons. Just this Monday, we created a controlled vacuum inside a water bottle, which caused the metal bottle to collapse. Perhaps the most important lessons have to do with the environment and global warming, and what we can all do to prevent it. Design and technology has changed a lot in the time we have been at St John's, linking up with science and math to become one of the STEM subjects. In addition to traditional tools, we also use computers and 3D printers to solve real world problems and St John's boys now regularly achieve DT scholarships to senior schools. Our lessons take place in a large studio where we study famous artists as well as working on our own creations. Music has always been an important part of life at St John's, especially mine, with lots of music groups for boys of all ages and abilities to join. I started playing the clarinet in year four, and I now play in the orchestra and wind band, and sing in senior choir. We perform regularly both inside school and out, including at local care homes and joining up with merchant tailors for concerts at the livery hall in London. St John's has amazing grounds, which we use for playing, for lessons and of course for sport. During the winter we play rugby on one of the three pitches at the bottom of the hill behind me. These are converted to an aesthetics track in the summer and we have a cricket pitch and practice nets in front of the White House. We are very lucky to have our all-weather pitch it has really transformed our success at hockey and it's a great place to play football at break. There is also a nine-hole golf course which we can use along with our rugby and cricket pitches. We are all excited about the superb new sports hall which is opening soon. It will be another great addition to St John's sports facilities as it is going to contain indoor cricket nets and a bouldering wall. That is the end of our quick tour of St John's. We have loved showing you around today. Thanks for coming with us. We have only managed to feature a few of the highlights but we hope it showed you the wonderful opportunities for boys who come here. Now I'd like to hand you back to Mr Robinson. Many thanks boys for that tour. As headmaster, it is always a real delight to see boys so enthusiastic about the school and what they're able to achieve here. If you like what you've seen and think that St John's is the right place for your son, please register using the links on this video. Thank you very much for watching.